There's the pre preliminary mounting points, but it's gonna have to be bent back. It's gonna clash here, so we're gonna bend this back just a little. And then that should be it. There it is. Look. <coughs> nice and firm. Maybe we'll take these out, get these welded up, just so they're a little bit stronger. This one here obviously is gaps too big. But we can weld it back there. Rubber mountings help. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it looks cool. It looks good. Right, now we can finish the knacker duct coming into here. I'm Nick Holmes. I'm a fueling automation engineer, a voluntary rescue technician, and a passionate aviator. Join me as I take you through learning to fly and onto the adventures of backcountry aviation in South Africa. What's happening guys? Okay, so we're back, uh, been a while, um, this whole COVID story has put a damper on things, um, obviously we're not allowed to fly, and we're in lockdown, so yeah, so anyway, I'm working on this thing while we're in lockdown, and um, what we have been trying to do is build knacker ducts, so this here is my first attempt at building a knacker duct for the cowling. Um, so we've got to pull air into the radiator and the radiator sits at a, at a bit of a strange angle. Um, so yeah, this was the first attempt, it ended up in a really large amount of bondo and body filler and sanding and it's an utter disaster. So that's going in the bin and uh, we're going to build another one.
right, so here's the finished product of our second attempt at a NACA duct uh, cooling vent thing. Right, so obviously here's a NACA portion, and then we're pulling it into a plenum. And the whole plan of that is that the radiator will lie against this face, we'll cut it out, and we'll draw air in and ram it through the radiator here. Um, so, so this has been placed on a vacuum box, we stick a vacuum cleaner nozzle in there, uh, suck a vacuum through these holes, and the whole idea is, this is going to be my attempt at vacuum molding, since I don't have access to a vacuum pump at this stage of the game. So we're going to polish this up, it's going to need about, uh, I reckon probably four, four layers of polish, um, and then we're going to have to Polish it up, rub it down, and then I guess one or two more layers before we throw the carbon on it and uh, give it a bash. This is it next morning. Let's have a look and see. Let's see what my attempt at a vacuum bag did. Okay, so it left a few of these little things. Which we can I suppose we can sand them out because they're not the greatest.
didn't come out too badly. Um, it's not bad for a first attempt. Uh, some of the stuff is not the greatest, the way it's held in the mold. Um, but structurally it's super strong. We won't be using this one on the aircraft. We're going to use it to cut the cowling, get it to fit, and then once this lockdown is over and we're allowed to go and purchase equipment again, we will go and get some more carbon, a new set of resin, and uh, we'll do this with a proper vacuum pump. And hopefully we'll be able to pull a really good, solid one-piece mold out of there. But yeah, until next time, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and uh, we'll bring you some more soon.